What is up, everybody? Brandon Gondola here with three of my favorite bets for this week's FedEx St. Jude Championship over at FanDuel Sportsbook. I like Scotty Scheffler this week. Uh, Scheffler has not won since the Masters, but uh, let's not pretend like that matters. Uh, it's, it's since April. Um, he was winning at, at such a high rate that uh, that wasn't going to last, but um, he sets up really well for this week. Over the past three months, according to Data Golf, Scheffler is second in true strokes gained, which adjusts for field strength. He's at a 2.70. Rory McIlroy is at a 2.79. McIlroy is the favorite this week, and nobody else in the field is above a 2.23. So there's still a big gap between Scheffler and McIlroy and everybody else this week. Uh, he has the distance to overpower this course. Uh, accuracy can help out a lot. Uh, shorter hitters can contend, but over half of the top 10 last year basically did it through driving distance rather than driving accuracy. So, so that sets up well uh, for Scheffler. He's an elite iron player. He's got two top 15 results here the past two years while losing strokes from putting. So it's a good sort of bounce back indication. He played plays well tee to green here, but just didn't get the putting, uh, the, the, the putter going. So I, li I like Scheffler quite a bit for it this week. Also like Matt Fitzpatrick uh, to pick up a win. He is a great putter overall. We see that every time uh, he tees it up uh, in a major but especially on Bermuda. Uh, he's a 97th percentile Bermuda putter over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. Uh, he once gained 10 strokes from putting on these greens, which is a career high for him. Uh, one of the highest, just basically highest rates we've ever seen. Uh, what jumps out really though, is, is that Fitzpatrick uh, has gained a lot of length so that can help him overpower things whenever he has the opportunity, but he's also so accurate uh, above average there, despite the, the added distance. 77th percentile long-term irons in my database, which adjusts for field strength and recency. He's at a 2.23 uh, true strokes gained over the past few months, so he's tied for third in the field behind only Scheffler and McElroy. You put that all together, and Fitzpatrick's a great option uh, to back this week in a loaded field. Uh, finishing up, I like Billy Horschel uh, this week. We can see you know shorter, more accurate hitters contend at TPC Southwind if the rest of the game is there. Abraham Answer won last year. Harris English, Daniel Berger, Ian Poulter, all top 10. Those are more accurate hitters than they are long. Horschel does kind of scare me a little bit with long-term irons. They're not elite, uh, 33rd percentile there relative to this field, but plays this course well. He's actually got the most career strokes gained at TPC Southwind among the field. He's a 93rd percentile Bermuda putter. He's also got 93rd percentile expected putting splits, which, uh, you know, based on his distance, He's putting really well. It's not like he's getting, uh, you know, making some lag putts, getting a little bit lucky there. He's a great putter overall. And he is 18th in the FedEx Cup standings. I know we're probably going to maybe give a little bit more credence to golfers outside the top 70 who need to, to get some points to get into the top 70 to play next week. But Horschel should be very motivated. All these guys should be motivated. A lot of money on the line. And, uh, he, you know, Billy Horschel loves the PGA Tour. He would love probably nothing more at this point to get a second FedEx Cup championship. Uh, under his belt. So that'll do it for my favorite bets for the FedEx St. Jude Championship. Best of luck this week. Let's hit a winner.